Hi everyone, Armored Pants here and I have another review for you in the Russian line, this is the Tier 70 IS. As always we have a complete guide and actually this was asked for on channel, so here you are, you ask and you get. Um, we're going to have a look at the tech spec in blitzhanger.com. Now I have to say I like this tank, it is a very decent Tier 7 heavy tank. Um, I prefer to the KV-3 I have to say. Uh, it struggles against Tigers, as does the KV-3, basically because it's slower, has a slower rate of fire. And while it's slower than the Tiger, it's not slower than Tiger P. Um, but it does have 122mm gun, which has better DPM than the lower gun. It also is a bonus if you're up-tiered, because it will pen those big Tier 8 heavies. Um, now, the gun, like many Russian guns, has a low muscle velocity, so therefore you use supercharge. You need to get up from 780 to just over a thousand to 10 14 meters per second and that will help particularly for distant shots now i said that this is a decent heavy tank it's very typical of a heavy tank and plays a heavy tank role very well it's not as adaptable let's say as a tiger um, or a t29 that can move around the map a bit better it's a bit more agile but if you remember the heavy tank guide we have on channel and what a heavy tank should do moving to positions around the map, securing those strategic positions, locking the enemy in place while your lights and mediums do their job, uh, particularly locking them in place at um, strategic um, angles, passes, or at uh, bases if you're playing supremacy on the map, then this tank is very good at that, and the armor profile in particular allows you to do that. Its traverse speed, as you see here, is actually quite good. It's deceptively good. If you've ever tried to circle a death one of these in a light or medium tank, you'll notice that uh, the traverse speed is pretty good, and if you use the tracks while also traversing, you will be able to almost half that traverse speed and really um, give a surprise to the enemy. Now, look here at this armor profile. Uh, it's very good. Look at those relative armor angles on the turret and on the side. You can side scrape all day long in this. If we look here, we're going to adopt a typical side scraping position, and if we look at the armor angles on the side, and um, it is really really good and you can side scrape as i said to your heart's content um, the cupola is a bit vulnerable but it's a small target um, and somebody's gonna have to spend a lot of time aiming at you and um, so just reverse back uh, but nonetheless be aware that when you pop out an ex very experienced player uh, particularly with a big gun might pop one into your cupola you can reverse side scrape too if you can hide that but you can see here the relative armor angles on the side of the turret and on the side of the tank. If you can hide your butt a bit, you'll be able to reverse side scrape should you need to. Um, you do need, need to know how to side scrape to play this tank. So therefore, if you don't know how to side scrape or you're a bit rusty because you've been playing mediums or lights for a while, go back and watch the heavy tank guide we have here on channel. It's a very, very simple guide that will give you a refresher on how to side scrape. Now, looking here at it front on, you can see that um, in its top tier, and even against its peers, and even when it's up tiered, it can side scrape. Uh, sorry, it is a pretty good front on, and of course, you have the option to side scrape as well. Tactics, well, as I said, um, let's not worry too much about what it says here in Blitzhanger. Um, if you're top tier, of course, you can go front line, absolutely. If you are not top tier, follow the other heavies, follow your tier 8 heavies, and be a support vehicle for them. Um, adopt a position where you can side scrape and with a 122 millimeter gun which I recommend you use you will be able to put damage into even the heavy, most heavily armored uh, tier 8 tank um, but as I said earlier in the game um, do remember to use this tank as a very typical heavy tank and follow the heavy tank guide that we have almost play heavy tank by numbers one last thing on the gun before we look at the gameplay um, the gun is 122 millimeter, has great pen on the HE as you saw. So make sure you have HE shells loaded up for light tanks and the backs and sides of medium tanks. Now, let's check the setup here as we always do, and I'm going to decide to go to C. As I said in this game, and as I'm up tiered, sorry, as I'm top tier, going to C is really a very typical heavy tank move. This is what you should be doing. Um, you should be going to C, trying to secure C, lock the enemy in there. Now what I want to do is, as I'm um, top tier here, um, I want to try to get to um, C, get into a side scraping position there before the enemy. Now, because I was blocked off by the smasher there a little bit at the start, um, I am now a little bit exposed, but I'm going to push on, going to use the um, relatively decent speed of the tank, 
um, to get into that position. Now I'm in a perfect side scraping position. And you'll see here, I am actually going to wreak havoc here. See that? Now, he comes out side on, as many inexperienced players will do. I'm in a side scraping position. I smash him for 337 damage, and I bounce his shot. And look guys, this is nothing uh, spectacular about this play. This is basic blitz play. I am not doing anything that um, any other player who plays this game can do. Whether your win rate is 30% or 70%, you can do this. I'm just playing to tank strengths there. You see, I'm in a side scraping position. They are not. This is um, basically solid good heavy, ta uh, heavy tank play versus weak heavy tank play coming outside on you are negating all the advantages you have of a heavy tank. Plus you're pushing out into a really big gun. The 122 millimeter gun is, and this is the biggest gun in this game. They have, um, uh, you know, similar armor. They're the same tank. One, um, you know, is now gone, removed, because he's pushing outside on. Um, and you see the difference there between pushing outside on and somebody who is side scraping. Again, I'm moving, I'm gonna angle up to him. And you see here, look, by moving, creating those angles, I get another 400 bounce from his big 122 millimeter gun. And as he's reversing in, because I'm reviewing this tank, and I know its strengths and weaknesses, I know it is prone to catch fire, so I put a big AP round into the back of him, set him on fire, and he's gone. So I have removed um, both of those ISs. Now there's a big brawl coming up here with multiple tanks on me. I want you to have a look at it and the decision making that I use because it makes a big difference. Now three of their tanks um, are gonna be involved in a brawl on me. We've got the uh, AMX coming up here. I'm involved in a brawl with their heavy, the KV-3. So what I decide to do is I am giving the, f I gave firstly the front of my tank to the AMX so he's no shots. Um, and I was able to bounce a couple of shots, and now I'm going to concentrate on taking out their biggest gun. Now I'm going to push back onto the AMX. He's on a reload, so he decides to scarper, and I decide to move off. I don't mind taking that hit there. I'm going to move off, follow him. Now I load up a HE round, I fluff that shot, but nonetheless, the AMX has seen that um, it's going to be really tough because he bounced a few shots off me to try to pen me, and he just decides to get out of there. Now I let my AMX go after him, and I decided to concentrate on the KV-1S, uh, which for me is an unfair competition. Um, I have a distinct advantage with my armor. You can see that um, I'm actually, as I said to you, it's deceptively mobile, the IS. Um, a lot of opponents think it's not mobile at all. Um, and you know, the KV-1S is quite a mobile heavy tank, if you remember from the, um, from the, um, review that we did on the on channel here, which if you haven't seen and you want to watch, is on channel under the Russian and under the heavy tank um, playlists. And you can see there that I have no problem whatsoever in taking him out using my big gun and using my better armor, a bit of an unfair competition. I bully him out of it and let the AMX on my team, who was a good player too, take out their AMX. And you can see there, mastery badge over 4K of damage in a tier seven, which is not bad at all. Um, and a um, bit of a carry from me, me and the AMX pretty much did all of the heavy lifting in that game, took out all seven tanks between us, um, almost 1.25k of XP, which delivers the mastery badge, a lot of that was for the bounces. See here when we look at the statistics, 10 shots received, um, four without any damage whatsoever, so we did a lot of bounces in that game, bounced a lot, particularly at the start against the ISs. Took a few hits in the brawl, but in that brawl, I think I made the right decisions. Putting the front of my tank on while still being able to concentrate my fire on the KV-3, which is their most dangerous tank in that brawl. Made it difficult for the AMX, bounced some shots off him. Uh, eventually scared him away and left me in a position where I was one-on-one -on -one against the KV-1S. So we took a 3v1 situation to a 1v1 situation while also taking out the KV-3, which is their most dangerous tank that was left there. Um, you can see the badges here, high caliber, top gun, mastery badge and sharpshooter. Um, the ISs on the other team made it a bit easy for me in that they kept coming out side on, so it was easy for me to pen. 
even with this Russian gun here, which occasionally has patchy handling. Although I have to say the gun handling on the IS is significant, and the top gun is significantly better than the gun handling on the KB3 top gun. It's peer in the Russian heavy line in tier seven. Now, this is a good heavy tank. I like it. It's very typical of the genre of heavy tanks. So therefore look at the heavy tank guide. It's really good at the heavy basics, almost heavy tank play by numbers. If you relook at that guide and then play the to toe strings and what and the role heavy tank should do, you'll do well in this tank. There's very decent armor, can side scrape front and back. The 122, uh, 122mm gun is the best option. DPM is much better, both theory and, eff and in effective DPM. The reload is long, it's 12.6 seconds. Be aware of that you need to make your shots count in this tank. Um, it is inferior to the Tiger range, let's not beat about the bush. If you get into a front on bra with a Tiger P, or a brawl with a tiger and the other player is as good as you, you'll probably lose because his DPM is much better than you. Um, you need to angle this tank to get bounces. Um, but this armor, as you saw there when you move it around, compensates for the rate of fire because you're gonna bounce a lot of shots in this. Um, now you supercharge and refine gun, you need to get that muzzle velocity up, otherwise it's gonna be less than a thousand meters per second, which is pretty bad. So you need to get that muzzle velocity up. If you're top tier, go front line. You have the armor for it, as you saw there. Be aggressive, seize the strategic point on the map as I did there. If not, move with the other heavies. Be a support heavy. If you're top, if you're up tiered, go with the tier eight heavies. Support them. You have the gun to be able to pen other tier eight heavies. Um, so use different tactics if you're up tiered. As I said, either support the tier eight heavies, uh, or if you're not, if you're top tier, go front line. So there you go. Cheers, Mush. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. And I guess all remains for me to say is pants off.